Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Banner Saga. So, things are not going great. Um, we have a day of supplies. We have poor morale. We've lost almost all of our fighters. Uh, yeah, good times. Anyways, let's go see what Ivor wants. Ivor points out the dredge along the wall. There's a lot more of them, and they're getting braver. He says, we lost a fair number of fighters since yesterday. We could use your help if there's nobody left to, if there's nobody left to defend the walls. Uh, you consider what you want to do now, knowing that any of these tasks will likely take a full day. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I think we might need to, uh, to defend the walls, because, uh, there's, there's no fighters left. We've been a little more aggressive lately, says Ivor. With their numbers going up, they don't take us seriously unless we're taking out two for every one we lose. Great. That's, uh, that's encouraging. Alright, what do we got party-wise here? Why do we have an open space? Did somebody die? Oh, that's right. We had the um, Sigbjorn or whatever was in the party. And he left. Well, we got two shields. We got Crummer, who's pretty good at breaking armor. And then, if we bring a couple archers, just put Rook at the end there. That should work. Everybody, except Nid, has items. All right, Nid, look at me. Oh, we don't really have anything we can give to Nid. Okay. Oh, well, that's... That's pretty scary, actually. Our morale went up. And we lost two fighters. Wait, why did our morale go up? Everybody's starving. Ah, oh, whatever. Okay, so what we want to do here is try and crack the armor real good so that our archers can can uh, nail some people. So with that in mind, well, let's keep everybody gathered up together. If we start away from this guy, we should be able to hopefully keep him out of the fight for now. Okay, that should be fine. Alright, so if we can get a bunch of armor break damage on... Ah, oh, this guy's gonna come up and smack Crummer, isn't he? Shoot. He's gonna smack Crummer for a lot of damage. Um... Hmm. Okay, well, I don't want him smacking Crummer. Because Crummer does a lot of... Actually, I guess... Him smacking Crummer is... Well, he's going to almost kill him is the problem. But uh, since Crummer does a lot of armor break, it's actually not the worst thing if he takes physical damage, because that doesn't affect his armor break. But I'd like to keep him going. So let's have you. Echo has slightly better armor for what good that's going to do us. Um... Yeah, that should be enough to stop him. I wish we could get our other shield guy in the... Oh, it was you. Oh, I selected the wrong one. Okay, well, um... Oops. I kind of goofed there. Well, Mogan, let's get you over here. See what kind of armor break we can put on this dude. Boom. Armor break. Okay. Okay. Rude. Alright, Crummer can now also armor break this dude. Oh, this guy's about to go. Well, let's focus on this guy. Oh, well, and we also just used all of our willpower getting there. Possibly a mistake. There we go. Now our, our two archers should be able to do a... Uh, oh, okay, well, uh, that kill's just dead. One shot. Really, we're only getting one point of bonus damage? Well, let's little down his armor a little bit. We should on Rook's turn just be able to knock that guy out, basically. Ow. Okay, that's less than ideal. Oh, or well, that could kill him. Sorry, there. There we go. Make him less of a threat. Ow. Okay, now. Other problems that we have occurring right now include this dude. 
who is not going for a little bit, but is very definitely a threat. And also these slingers who are causing trouble. Well, let's, uh, throw some armor on this guy. Okay, Mogan, you can also come over here and get rid of some armor on this guy. Crummer, I don't think can get anywhere, unfortunately. We might actually be better off killing this guy for the extra will, because Crummer's just out of will. Um, this guy's going next. Yeah, right, why don't we finish him off and also get our forces a little bit back together. There we go. Oh, dear. Okay, there's two of those guys, and I don't actually think we can fight them. Like, I don't, I don't think we put out enough damage to, uh... Checking off these slingers are just going to be constantly doing that. Hmm. Okay. We, uh, we're being a little bit of trouble here. Let's see if we can get a lot to do some damage here. Oh, well. Alette is putting out admirable amounts of damage for what good it's doing us. Maybe Crummer can uh, put some hurt on this guy next turn. Okay, as for Mogan. Um, so if I go here, this guy can't move anymore. Right, and it's his turn next. He basically has to attack Mogan, and he's fairly beat up. Yes. Okay, so we'll put you here. And then you're just going to smack this dude to make sure he does even less damage. There we go. Okay, good. Now he has two. Oh, he's going to summon friends. Okay, well, hopefully Mogan can stop that on his next turn. She should be able to. Now this guy is a problem. Again, try and get some of that good let damage going here. If we can get the range for it, which we can. Excellent. There we go. Ow. Alright, Mogan. Uh, yeah, you need to put this guy down before he causes any trouble. Also, limit this guy's uh, mobility. There we go. Ow. Okay. Um, if we can crack his armor some more, I'll let. Assuming she's. Okay, well, that's unfortunate, but I also want this guy gone. Ah, okay, well. Um, if I can finish this guy before his next turn, that would be good. Right, because then the explosions won't go off and I won't have to move a lot. Can I... I don't think I can do that end position somewhere so that this guy can't move to Alette. But Alette actually has pretty good armor right now. So I think what we're going to do is move up to this dude and use some willpower. Reduce his armor some. Alette might be able to... Oh, unless he just moves away. Okay, I might just have to move Alette. I think that's our... Uh... Yeah, that guy needs to go. I can't deal with any more summons right now, so... Okay, good. Mostly avoided the damage there. Alright, um... Let's make this guy... Actually, just keep on... Breaking that armor. Hopefully these dudes will hang out in a let's range. Okay, good. Bye bye me. go work on this guy some. Stop him from doing damage. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's out of range. And I don't have any willpower, so this guy's just going to be almost dead. Oof. Okay. 
extinguish this guy almost. God, they're both down to one HP. Neither one of them can threaten us right now. I think not that they're, uh, they're still trying. Yo, okay. It's one dude left. Let's finish him off. This was a messy fight. I uh, my my decisions in leveling up and building characters are coming back to haunt us. Also, the fact that we just don't have any renown. Everybody's injured, which is great because we don't have time to rest. So we're just gonna have to put up with that. Everybody's injured. Nine renown again. That's not enough. We need more. We're gonna have to spend like all that on food. We're out of fighters. Great. Well, food please. Total available five. All right, we can buy a day's worth of food at least. Alright, Ivor, what do you got for me? This is bad, says so Avon, does Ivor points across the battlefield? Aside from the fact that we're up to our necks in dread, just Stone Singer showed up. If we don't deal with it, this wall will come down by the end of the day. Great. Dad, there's a riot at the dock, so that runs up to you out of breath. They're trying to smash up the boats. When you calm her down, she says the ravens are there, but she's worried that things could get out of hand. You consider what you want to do now, knowing that any of these tasks will likely take a full day. Um. We, uh. God, there's so much stuff we need to do. The riots at the docks are gonna have to be handled by the uh, by the ravens. I can't. I don't have time for that. Um, the stone singer needs to go as well, but I guess we're doing okay supplies-wise for the moment. So let's just go fight with our uh, injured party. That stone singer is gonna wreak havoc on us if we don't take care of it. Ivor tells you this will be a rough fight, but we've got to take it down. You ready? Prepare yourself. Do I? Do I prepare myself? Oh boy, all right. Um, didn't Rook get injured? I'm almost positive Rook got injured. Huh, Nid also definitely got injured. Interesting. Anyways, let's swap out our injured people here. So we'll bring Ivor and Gunolf instead, I guess. Sure, that looks fine. Oh boy. Okay. Um. All right, these guys aren't quite as scary as the last dudes, apart from the uh, the stone singer who we need to deal with. Well, let's try weakening her support structure before we do anything. So I'm going to have you two over here, and then Rook and Ivor over here, and I'll give you an archer each. All right, Ivor, let's go. This dude is not going for a while, but he is going before Alette, so. Ivor has good armor break, though. Get some of our other... Uh, some of our other team members a chance to do some damage here. Okay, Gunolf, my man. Gunolf does a lot of damage. Gunolf also has a lot of armor break. So... This guy doesn't... He uh, still does a decent chunk of damage. He doesn't do that much. As long as I can get Crummer in the way to stop him from, uh, from attacking. I think we should be alright. Just move Gunolf up like this. Gets nice... No break on this guy. Whack. Okay, that guy's moving up. He, uh, breaks some of our armor, which is a little bit rude. Okay, so we put Crummer in the way here so that he can't attack, um, uh, you. And then we could finish the rest of this guy's armor, right? But, uh, might be better off doing like this. Blast for our willpower to crit and kill him instantly. Okay, well, that... Wasn't my initial plan, but it works, I suppose. Okay. Uh, Nid, you're not doing any bonus damage right now because you haven't broken his armor, so you may as well move up to... I think. So Gunolf is going to have to go... 
Actually, Gunoff can go around like... No, because I want Gunoff blocking Nid. Hmm. So if Gunoff goes like this, he's taking up all these spaces. Can Gunoff go like that? Gunoff doesn't have any willpower left. Gunoff is basically going there. Okay. Well, Nid, um... You may as well just move here. Just give this dude a little bit of armor break. What we can. There we go. Okay, this guy gets to go. He's going for a rook. Ow. Okay. All right. Um, put some hurt on this dude, please. Oh, that's good damage. Okay. Stone Singer is doing something, which we're just going to have to leave her to do, because I don't have many other options right now. Um, mm -mm, this guy doesn't really do damage anymore, which is good. We can just ignore him. And I'm instead going to have Rook come here and mark this dude for some break damage. There we go. Okay, so both of these dudes are now doing minimal damage. Temporarily. Um, which gives us some freedom to skirt around and uh, target some other people. Oh, you're going for Nid. Yep. Yep, that's, uh, that's rough. Okay. Start breaking this dude. On breaking this guy's armor. Let's see if we can't get a let some uh, some good hurt on him. Okay, stone singer goes. Okay, she reduced everyone's armor, which is actually great for us. Um, we can move Nid back here, and she can also break this dude's armor some. Okay, their damage is buffed a little bit, but not a ton. Okay, good. Ow. Alright, I'll let... Oh, the damage. I love it. Alright, Rook. Um, yeah, let's uh, start working on this dude. There go. Stone Singer is coming up to join the fray fine by me. Let's finish off her friends while we're here. Okay, that's fine. Okay, it's just us and the Stone Singer, who is helpfully moving into range. Okay, let's get a lot of armor break on this lady. Actually, I guess we don't know the gender of the Stone Singer. Okay, Nid. Um, no, that doesn't put you in range. All right, you're gonna have to move like this, and then sure, why not? You got you got willpower to kill, so uh, we can move a let up. Okay, we can move Rook up. Uh, we might actually knock the Stone Singer out right now. Yes, we can. Boom. Okay, that was a much cleaner fight. Uh, having all the Varl around helps quite a bit, I think. We got less renown, though. What? We did better. I guess it's based on the number of enemies you beat. We were fighting less enemies. Okay, either way. Um, let's go... Pick up another... Oh, there's only two supplies in town. Okay, well, that's probably just not... Just straight up not worth it, then. Can we level anyone up? I don't think we have anyone who's level two, unfortunately. Oh, Nid. Level Nid up. Great. That actually sounds wonderful. She is quite handy. Um, let's bump her damage. Alright. Um, our only real option here is... Just helping Ivor guard the walls. Um, I don't think there's a lot else for us to do. This morning, says Ivor, I saw him. Bellower's here. I think it won't be long now. Aven leaned silently on his staff nearby. 
One of your clansmen comes to you out of breath. Rook, he says, things are real bad. Look, there's nothing you can do at this point, but a lot of the caravan has been robbed, killed, just disappeared. Those of us left are going to split up and hide where we can. Wanted you to know, in case we somehow pull through this. He runs off, clearly distressed. You grimace, wondering if this could have played out another way. Okay, well, um, alright. That's an issue. We may as well just keep fighting at the walls. I'll be honest with you, Ivor says. There's too many of them. We're just delaying the inevitable at this point. You catch his eye. Still, gotta try, you say. Morale declined. Yeah, that's fair. Our morale is surprisingly high, given the circumstances. Oh, I guess our people are healing. Without us resting. Well, I guess we don't really have the option to rest, so that's fair. Um, mm -mm. Our current party is working out pretty okay, actually. I think I'm just going to keep them like this. We are lacking a, you know, frontline tank, but that's fine if we can just kill things fast enough, I suppose. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Okay, um... Alright, none of these dudes have above 20 attack, which is good. And they don't have any range, which is good. But... We are in a... Uh, awkward spot here. Alright, let's just shuffle this around like so, and then yeah, uh, hang on. If we do like this, then we can focus on fighting this guy as best we can. Put Nid, Let, and Rook like that. Yeah, okay. Alright, Ivor, let's get you up here. And just wreck this dude's armor as much as we can. Actually, battering ram. Battering ram will do a decent chunk of damage, right? What? Why can't I battering ram him? Knock target back through multiple tiles doing armor break damage. Battering ram. Why can I not battering ram this guy? Do I have to be, like, square up to him? I guess I do. Alright, well, armor break it is, I suppose. Go. Nice down the line there. Okay, his friend's coming up to join the fight. Ow. Could have done without that. Um, This dude is... Alright, I'm actually going to just move Gunolf back a step. So that this guy can't reach him and we can get first attack on him. Because Gunolf's not going to reach the rest of the fight anyways. Crummer, though. Um, ah, shoot. We can't reach the guy that I was trying to, uh, was trying to damage. That's fine. We can spread some armor break to him by uh, hitting this guy instead. There we go. Right down the line. Excellent. Okay, Nid can hit this dude, which is fine. Um, but I want her in a position where she can target everybody. There. This is a safe-ish option. Now, this guy isn't actually going for a while. Who's going next? Oh, it's the dudes all the way at the other end of the fight. Okay. Can't reach anything. That is fine then. Let's break this dude's armor some more. And then next turn we should be able to uh, put some damage on him. God, that shatter damage though. So good. Alright, Alette, let's move you up to where you can hit everybody. And then, this dude's armor's mostly gone, so let's hit this dude instead. I don't want to burn a bunch of willpower on that, though. Okay, that guy's opting to just go up there. Okay, so Gunolf can move up to hit this guy next turn, which is good. Rook. Rook can start breaking his armor, which will allow Gunolf to do a sizable chunk of damage, so I think that's probably worth it. Spending all of our willpower on this, though. Okay. okay. Not bad damage there. Hello. Oh. Oh. Okay. That uh, that works out fine. Now, who is going next? You. So you need to have a bunch of damage on you before you get to do anything. There we go. There we go. Nice spread. Oh, he's trying to summon people. Um. 
I don't know that we can reach him to stop him from doing that. We might just have to uh, deal with the results. This dude is also going to be in this fight, which I can't do anything about. So let's just try and get some hurt on this dude. There we go. Okay, he's not doing any damage anymore. Um, hmm. When is this guy going? He's going after Ivor. So if I can have the archers deal with this guy, Ivor should be able to slip around and stop him from summoning, which would be ideal. Now, Crummer, you can move... Yeah, I mean, you may as well move up here. Go. And then do this. Go. Okay, great. There's no point using willpower, because uh, that's going to kill him in one hit anyways. Alright. So time you just knock that guy out, but I need this guy. Actually, if I knock this guy out, then Ivor has a free shot as well. So, let's knock this guy out. Great. Oh. Oh, okay. That was actually probably the best option that we could have got there. Alright, Rook, let's... This guy is not much of a threat anymore. Hmm. <laughs> what do I want to do with Rook? Have a lot of willpower left either. Um. So this guy, we can. I mean, he does some armor break, and he's got that knockback thing, but we can mostly ignore him, which means we should focus on this guy because he's a threat. He's the last of our willpower here. There we go. All right, let's just go. He. Yeah, he's doing. A, oh shoot! Now he's in the way. Damn it! Okay. Ah, crud. Alright, this guy's gonna get to summon friends. This is a shame. On the upside, this guy should be in range of both of our archers, so just make him, uh, make him not able to do things. Hi. Rude. Okay, let's finish this guy off. Just get him out of the way. Ah, I summoned them behind us. Cool. Well, we can... This, when is this dude going? Ah, he's going next. He's probably just going to wreck Nid. I don't think there's anything we can do about that. Um, she should still be alive. And I think between the two of them, they can finish off this guy. Who's not going until after both of them. So Crummer is going to... Well, let's go knock out this guy, because he actually still does a, uh, a chunk of damage. Go. Hello. Yeah, that's what I thought was going to happen. Okay. Oh. Oh, that hurts. Okay, good. We can knock this guy out. Thank you. Um, oh, dear. Oh, gun off. Not having a good day. Um, Rook, let's, uh, go over here to maybe keep your daughter alive, eh? Oh, okay. armor break. This guy's attacking Ivor for some reason. Ivor is pretty badly beat up. Okay, let's just move Ivor out of the way so Crummer can get in here. And just get rid of the rest of this guy's armor. Oh, there he did. Okay, Gunolf, um, you should maybe just back up here. So you're not really in a position to do anything. Oh, they're chasing you down. Nothing I can do about that. Crummer, let's start knocking these guys out. Just get them out of the way. Nice crit. Okay, big boy is going to be a problem. Um, he doesn't have any armor break on him either, which is a shame. This guy does, but Alette can't target him. So if I move... Well, this guy's going to get a turn anyways. Hmm. I can't really move Alette somewhere that'll keep her safe, although this guy's probably going to target Rook. Yeah, right. Let's just put Alette in this back corner here and then... Uh, put the hurt on this guy. There we go. Reduce his damage some. Great. Okay, Rook. 
Um, we can finish this guy off, which is probably a good choice. Also, back away from him slightly. Or back away from his buddies, I mean. Hello. Oh, you have health. Oh, okay. Okay, Ivor. Give me some armor break. Thank you. Actually, Alette is safe from this dude. Alright, Crummer, let's smash this dude. Great. Okay. Alright, so we can. Yes, I think at this point, kill this guy. There we go. This is the pillage. Oh, shoot, now we can get into our. Uh... This is actually fine, because Rook can do. Uh can do this. Oh, well, that's not in range. Oops. That's fine. Kramer can, uh, Kramer can finish this. Great. Oof. Alright. Well, we only lost one person in that fight, so... Doing reasonably well. Poor Nid. She's doing her best, okay. Oh, Gunolf got injured as well, that's right. Ah, 10 Renown that time. I have no idea what how Renown is calculated. Such is life, I suppose. Alright, that seems like a decent place to call it for today. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.